Remember Peter and what happened to him when he tried to imitate Christ when she told him, Come, Peter, do not be afraid. Walk on the water with me as I have taught you. But what happened to Peter? He let himself be influenced by his many thoughts, and because he was anguished, he got scared. And at that moment, he almost ended up drowned in his carnal mind. Because the sea or the many waters are a figure of the carnal mind that does not know how to discern what is good and what is bad in the eyes of God, and ends up calling what God has seen as good as if it were bad. This is also a figure of the demonized gatherings who were thrown into the sea when they preferred to enter into the pigs, a figure of continuing to live in the filth of their carnal mind because they feel that Christ torments them with her good order that is perfect before God. That is why she says that the wicked are like the stormy sea that cannot stand still, whose waves throw mud and sludge, a figure of the carnal mind that is in filth, a place where pigs live. And I guarantee that in such a mind, God does not walk or inhabit. That is why it says, For Jehovah your God walks in the midst of your camp to deliver you and to deliver up your enemies before you. Therefore your camp must be holy, so that they do not see something unclean in you and turn from following you. Wisdom does not enter a perverse soul, nor does she live in a body given over to sin. The Spirit of God gives us wisdom, teaches us to hate lies and evil thoughts. The wisdom that God gives us does not live in the midst of injustice. Wisdom is our friend, but does not forgive the one who speaks ill of God. God witnesses the most intimate of man. They know their desires and their thoughts. They are sincere watchmen of their heart and listen to everything they say. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs>